good? Okay. Good morning. Welcome. If this is your first session, I see a couple um, new faces, but I see a few from last session, so welcome back. Um, raise your hand. Was it, is it just a couple of you that weren't here the first session? Were you here before? I the first one? Last Missed out? Okay, no problem. So, yeah. yep, a couple new faces. That's great. So, yeah, we'll actually kind of review a little bit on what we talked about last time so you guys didn't miss out on anything. Um, I want to start by asking us, asking those who were here, were you able to practice any of the techniques that we did go over? So we focused really on our breath, um, synchronizing that with some movement as well. I'm looking at you ladies, because I know you sat right in that spot, but whoever wants to share. Um, breathing one. Okay. can't go to sleep too. Okay. Concentrate on that. Sure. So the inhaling for four, exhaling for four, was that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Anybody else? It, what, were you able to tra practice any others? I found myself doing a lot of the A1, B2. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Just because I think it's a challenge. So yeah. Like, why did that just come easier? Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun one, wasn't it? Were you able to get through the whole no. alphabet? Okay. <laughs> that was really having to stop. Mm -hmm. That it. one, yep, yeah, takes a lot of concentration. Okay. Um, anything that surprised any of you while going through any of those techniques? Okay. Yes. And it's yep. It's amazing how quickly you calm down and are more concentrated on it than yep. whatever you were thinking about before. For sure. It's almost an instant calming mm -hmm. feeling. Yep. Okay. Um, does anybody have a, a good experience? What was what was your best experience with it? Anybody want to share what that might look like? Sounds like you all were able, yeah, to see some benefits from them, anyways. Okay. What would you gain if you continued to practice those techniques we went over? I think, yep, we talked about it a little bit last. Focus, for sure. Less distractions, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Thanks for sharing. Okay, and so we actually, to start out, we're just gonna start by doing a few um, breath cycles. So we're gonna inhale for a count of four, exhaling for a count of four. So you can, yeah, feel free to close your eyes if that's comfortable, but let's do three to five cycles on our own. So inhaling for a count of four, exhaling, pushing all our air out for another count of four. Go ahead and inhale, exhale, and count that as one and see if you can get all the way up to five. So we're gonna do five breath cycles. Our mind starts to wander. Let's just try to bring it back to our counting. Okay. And then should we try the nostril one or should we do more of just like the um, raising our hands? Which one did you guys prefer? There was a couple that we, we could do. Anybody have a preference? Okay. Why don't we, yeah, let's just... As we inhale, we'll increase, we'll raise our hands. Exhale, lower our hands. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, great. All right, so our, set, our focus today is is all on um, concentration and distractions. We know that you know distractions consume our ability to relax. 
um, even consume our thoughts so much that it's hard to get some things done sometimes. Sometimes we have a to-do list and we're just we're so distracted that the day slips away from us. Um, what are some distractions that you experience in your guys' life? So maybe at work or at home? What does that look like for, for you guys? Phone. Phone, yes. That's a big one. That's the one I was going to give the, as, a, as an example. Phones, for sure. All the different notifications, the emails, the apps that alert us that we want to almost check instantly. It's hard to, to wait until we, we give ourselves that permission. What else is, can be a distraction in our life? Sometimes it can just be you're working on something and someone you know, comes into your office and just has a question or kind of takes your attention away from what you're doing and lose your focus a little bit. All kinds of distractions, right? Okay, so we know that when we practice concentration, we're going to be going over a few different techniques today that you, you'll see on your handout. Um, this concentration can be practiced, helps us be more um, mindful, more in the present moment, enjoying you know, the present moment here and now, not thinking about maybe what we're going to say next or what we're going to do next or what we're having for supper. Um, practicing concentration helps build self-control and self-discipline. So self-control, we know, can be important for, like, say no to that donut, that afternoon donut, or candy bar, or um, any kind of decisions that maybe are a little bit unhealthy for us. Okay? And so the secret is to open your attention towards the distraction with a non-judgmental non curiosity. So here we're focused. We notice our attention starts to wander off. This is our distraction, whatever that might be. It might look a little bit different for everybody. It's important to notice that, that your attention has started to wander off. Notice you're distracted and just try to gently bring your attention back. So I know this can be easier said than done, but this is kind of the philosophy that we can focus on. So mindfulness really is about your awareness, so not avoid, avoidance. So we need to be aware that we are distracted and just try to gently bring ourselves back to, to what we want to get done and accomplished. So what we're going to work on and, and focus on is um, this first balance pose that you'll see on your handout. So kind of um, like a, a yoga pose. I know we talked about that a little bit last week. So you guys can just go ahead and stand up. We're going to start by shifting our weight to our right foot. So we can just start to lift up our left leg a little bit. So you can lift it up however high you want. If you just kind of want to keep it touching the floor, that's fine. If you want to lift it all the way up, you can yeah, go as high as you want. Your hands can come out almost into a, making a T position. See if you can find a place in front of you to focus. Continue to focus your eyes and breathe through any distractions or loss of balance. See if you can notice any areas that feel maybe tight or tense. Stay in that pose for a few minutes and we'll repeat on our other side. Make sure we're taking our deep breaths. Focusing on something in front of us. Okay, let's try our other side. <clears throat> so stand on our left foot, bring our right leg up. See if you can, if, if this is a comfortable position for you, you can go up a little bit higher with your leg as well. Rest it on your calf or even a little bit higher. important that we focus on something in front of us because go ahead and close your eyes and see how you notice that that'll kind of adjust your your balance quite a bit for some of us it's a little bit different when we close our eyes isn't it okay awesome you guys all look great and now I'm gonna you can go ahead and sit down and I'll kind of walk you through this next, um, it's called a body scan. So 
So guys, you can just go ahead and get in a comfortable position and I'll just kind of walk you, I'll talk you through this one. Okay, so begin seated in your chair. Start to bring your attention to your body. You can close your eyes if that's comfortable for you or focus them on something maybe in front of you or whatever is comfortable. Notice the weight of your body on the chair. Take a few deep breaths. Bring your awareness to your feet. Notice how they feel against the floor. Are they hot or cold? Wiggle your toes a little bit. Bring your awareness to your ankles and legs. Notice how they feel against the chair. Do you notice any pulsing, pressure, heaviness, lightness? Gently move your ankles in circles and flex them in all directions. Take a brief moment to check in with your breath. Bring your awareness to your back. Imagine lengthening your spine as you inhale and relax as you exhale. Bring your awareness to your stomach area. If your stomach is tense or tight, let it soften. Take a breath. Bring your awareness to your shoulders and arms. Allow your shoulders to melt away from your ears. Then your arms can roll open. Are your hands tense or tight? Bring your awareness to your neck and throat. See if you can let that be soft. Relax, soften your jaw. Let your facial muscles soften. Now notice your whole body present. And take one more breath. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes back up. Anybody almost fall asleep? <laughs> no. How was that one for you? What did you, what are some thoughts? Relaxing. Relaxing, yeah. That can be a good one that we can utilize, try, you know, trying to get to sleep at night, kind of walk through that series. And there's, you know, lots of different, on YouTube, there's different voices that are doing this. You can kind of find one that works best for you. There's different lengths of time, and you can just kind of Google body scans, and there's many out there. So you can find one that works best for you. Does anybody do, do one of these at before, for, before bed or anything? You do some of them, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of apps. There are, yes. What are some of your favorite apps? Calm. Okay, yep. Lots of different. Awesome. Okay, um, what are some other ways to reduce distraction? Um, so a couple examples, you know, not having too many screens open at once, just kind of focusing on one task in front of us. Setting aside, aside time to respond to emails. I know for me, I always have my emails up and as soon as I feel like I have to respond right away and so maybe it's, you know, setting it a specific time to focus on that so that I can still focus on other things and not be distracted by that. Maybe it's even shutting off our personal cell phone for an hour or two throughout the day if that's what's our biggest distraction. Any other ways that people have found that work for them for distractions? Maybe it's just going for a walk, kind of just getting away from that task for a little bit so that you can have greater focus once you come back to it. What, what, is, what is another suggestion that works for other people? Anybody have any good ones? Read, yeah, yep, for sure, that's a good one, yep. And it takes your mind off of everything else and you're just focused in on your book, yep, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn our hand, hand out over. What would work? What would work or leisure time be like if you were more focused or present? Go ahead and just start to think about what that might look like or go ahead and jot it down on your piece of paper. Yeah, are there some, anybody need a pen? There's just some back there, okay. Identify any moments of distraction while practicing concentration and focus. So, 
What I would recommend is to try complete a three to five minute body scan every other day. So when and how will you complete this? See if you can identify when a good time in your day would be to walk through that series. And on the other days of the week, practice abdominal breathing for three to five cycles like we did in the beginning. Then complete a balanced pose. When and how could you fit that into your day? What is one task that needs improved concentration or focus from you? Go ahead and see if you can identify a task and then decide what technique you might want to use. Maybe it's practicing, you know, while we brush our teeth, seeing if we can anchor kind of a behavior that we already do with, with one of these techniques. Maybe it's before your drive home from work, maybe before bed. Anybody have any questions on anything that we went over today? Or from last week? Or Our next session is going to be about awareness next Wednesday at the same time. So if you can come back, that'd be great. Um, feel free to bring your sheet back because there's the reflection from this past week. See if you were able to um, accomplish some of these in your week. Otherwise, um, that's all we have for today. So thanks so much for coming. Thank you.